Right, so we're on the main shopping street here. There's two Gaudi buildings on the street and I was told by a local that this is the most beautiful street in Barcelona. So I'm going to put the names of the buildings on the, um, on the video for you, just in case I forget to say it. So it's Passage de Gracia, that's the main shopping street. For, it's like the posh part, so in, in French you call it the uh, Carré d'Or, the Golden Square. In English, just the posh street. <laughs> and then here, they call it the Golden Quarter. So as you can see, you've got Prada, all the big brands on this road, Dior, Cartier, Tiffany, you name it, it's all here. It's a very big road, as you can see. And if you keep following this street down, you get to um, another shopping street, but that's more like the high street with your standard brands. So yeah, there's two Gaudi buildings, as well as all the shops. It's a really nice street, actually. You've got the metro running up, and we'll have a look which line it is when we get to one. So let's just do a bit of window browsing. This is for all of you people who like to come shopping on holiday. And yes, so I, I actually asked a few different people about the shopping here. So you've got the Rambler, obviously. Then you've got this street. And then there's a few big shopping centers, but they're quite far out. So getting there, you'd need a taxi, I should imagine, which is why I'm not doing it. I want to stay central. But yeah, there's the Louis Vuitton. It's basically a huge version of Rue de Rhone in Geneva, but with some cool architecture. And I'm, I'm falling in love with Barcelona, by the way. Let's have a bit of window shopping here for you. And if you would like to look like a massive smarty, you can come to the Louis Vuitton shop in Barcelona. I swear half of the stuff they sell in these places, I could have designed it better with a crayon and a piece of cardboard. Oh, I'm not a big shopper. That's why you'll see me in the same clothes all the time. So you've got the Gucci shop here. But thank you to all of you for liking, commenting, subscribing because I know you like shopping because it tells me in the algorithm. Ah, oh, you've got the Dior next door as well. That rhymed. And yes, yeah, so it's a really cool street. Like I said, I'm not an expert on Gaudi or Barcelona, and I know it's a travel channel. You've got the Chanel here as well. God, one of you's gonna complain if I don't look in this window, aren't you? I already can feel it. Let's have a look at the bags. So I'm going to write the name, if I forget, which is possible, of the building, because I've done a lot of filming for, you, for us. Um, we've got some cool hotels here as well. You've got the Mandarin Oriental. And to be honest, I'm very surprised at how big it is, this road. It's much bigger than any shopping street I've seen before. And I have been to Milan, and they've got a really cool shopping area, but it's very compressed. A bit like, this is more like Zurich, actually, the big shopping street. And I think I was saying, if you carry on down this road, you're in the center of town and you're just near the Gothic quarter. We're gonna cross now, potentially get run over. But we've, we braved it. So you're near the Gothic quarter and it's um, the square of Catalonia. 
and that's where you can get all your, your buses to the airport, to the other parts of the city. It's very central. It's actually most probably my favourite bit and you're near the cathedral as well. Oh, some cool buildings here. We are going to have to cross, ladies and gentlemen, because the other Gaudi building is on the other side of the road. This is a nice building there. Let's have a look at this. To be honest, if you're, if you're coming with someone who doesn't like shopping, there's a lot for them to do, like looking at the buildings, tapas. Just basically chilling out, really. For me, the idea of a holiday is just getting in the thick of it and trying to work out. I like to find every little thing and know what the locals know. That's my kind of idea of a good holiday. And that's some people's idea of a nightmare, as I know with some of my friends. Hello. <laughs> so it's the Garcia metro stop and it's R2, R11, R13, R14, R15, R16. So it's a very big stop. You can get to many places. Great metro system, by the way. And I can see the other Gaudi building. You know, I was reading that Gaudi actually got hit by a bus or a tram somewhere and that kind of was what I don't know if it killed him but so I'm, I'm gonna be more cautious crossing the road here because um, yeah I, I read that somewhere I can't remember where but I tell you what some cool architecture really nice it could well be one of my favorite cities in Europe now it's the first time I've been and let me know if you've been below in the comments. That man went for it. Ah, oh, here we go. We can go for it as well. So that's basically heading down towards the main square, like I said. I actually saw the Polish girl that I interviewed in one of my other videos just here, just now. Excuse me, do you know the name of this? House of Batla. Okay, thank you. Uh, have you enjoyed your Gaudi experiences? Do you yeah, is this one of your favourites? There's another one up there. Yeah, there's another Gaudi building. Yes, have a nice trip. Thank you. You know you can tell when someone doesn't want to speak. <laughs> a lot of poses here ladies and gents a lot of poses you know if I was to take all of my clothes off and stand there <laughs> I wonder I'd get more views I think right so now we're on the other side of the road of course it's a shopping street there's got to be a McDonald's there if you don't fancy any of the great local cuisine you can stuff your face with what you know then we're starting to get to the kind of less posh bit now so it's your more your high street brands like Levi's, I think H&M down there, Mango, Diesel, that kind of stuff. So yes, I will write the names of the buildings. It's strange because I keep going to speak French, um, but yeah, I suppose that's the same for all of us really, isn't it? When you're in a foreign country. It's actually really, really nice. I'm, Definitely going to come back. Definitely going to come back. There are lots of streets though. That's quite annoying. So there's the Mandarin Oriental. Well, someone's just fallen over. 
So be careful because there's lots of people going around on those scooters. Let's flip you round. So in the comments, I'd actually like you to tell me you seem to really enjoy the shopping videos. So which places would you like me to film? I might go to Milan, Madrid or London. So just let me know. And if so, which parts of those cities would you like to see? We've done the, um, the main shopping areas in Geneva. Yeah, it's nice to just have a bit of a people watch. Although when you're walking around with this big camera, in one of the other videos actually, a dog thought that my microphone was a treat or like a toy and he was jumping up. Better do some more window shopping. Right, well I am going to be honest with you ladies and gents, the rest of this street doesn't really have much on it. So you could just listen to me rambling on, but there's enough of that in the other videos. And I did film all of the stuff that's in my vlog channel on my other channel without me in the video. So it's just imagining you're walking down the street. So I hope you enjoyed this lovely shopping street with the two Gaudi buildings. If you've been to Barcelona, let me know your favourite part and did you think it was expensive? Any tips you've got for other tourists, just leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Bye.